the day, the actual day was fucking horrible. It was bad because he comes knocking on my door, and I was fucking in the middle of something else. I was like, I'm not answering this fucking phone call. I don't want to deal with him. So, like 45 minutes inside an hour goes by, and I hear this knock. And you know that this knock is the cops. You know what I'm saying? It's the steel knock. It's the cop knock. It's, yeah. You know the police knock. I was on the phone. I remember being on the phone and I said, I said to my friend, I said, the cops are here. I said, fuck. I run to the door. Cops at the door. I'm not surprised. No, like, where is he? And I'm like, they threw me off. I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? I said, they're like, you know who? And I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? Who the fuck is he? They're like your buddy, Charlie. I'm like, buddy? I said, listen. I said, number one, let's get something straight. So my bo- my mother owns this house. She pays $6,500 a year in tax. That's a good chunk of the salary money that you guys work for. And I said, let let me correct you. I have the right to correct you. Charlie is not my friend. He comes here. He asks for a cigarette. He asks for a ride to the liquor store. I said, and he does the same third floor. I said, by by no means is he a friend of ours like that. I said, you think I'm hiding him? Go down in the basement and take a look. Help yourself. Because they thought I was hiding Charlie. I didn't even want to answer the door to Charlie. Now I'm hiding Charlie? You're going to call me a friend of Charlie's? I'm hiding him? I'm doing him a favor? So, they go down, and they're fucking, they're acting like douchebags. They're, they're like, out loud, Charlie, come on out, we're going to bring out the dogs. And I know Charlie isn't there, but I'm letting them go through the motions. They're all fucking dumbfounded. You know, big surprise, Charlie ain't there. I said, well, you know, no surprise. They go, well, what about the third floor? I said, help yourself. I said, but be respectful. Don't harass. They start walking up. As they're walking up the stairs, Peruvian comes running up my stairs. He's like, Charlie, Charlie. I open the door. I'm just pissed off. I start steaming at the Peruvian. I'm like, you guys have no... I'm like, what are you guys fucking thinking? Sending the cops over to my house. Bust my balls about this guy. And as I'm saying this, Charlie, I'm not lying. The garage was open like two feet. I'm not lying. I am not making this up. Out of the garage crack comes Charlie crawling. Out of this garage crack. And he finally gets up and he's got a pair of socks in one hand and a t-shirt in another and cut off jean short. And he's like, I surrender! He's like, I surrender! Right? And we're like, and I'm like, alright, he, I'm like, he's, they see him from the third floor window. I hear them running down. I'm like, there he is. Go get him. You know, have at it. You know, and these two douchebags, the cops, the, the two douchebag cops, it's like this. They know Charlie, by the way. They're like, because when they talk to him, the conversation, you can tell that they've had... Mind you, these guys have been at the house at least four times previous. At least, bare minimum, four times. They get to Charlie. You know, their gun's drawn on Charlie. He's got, one, he's got a pair of socks in one hand and a t-shirt in another hand, and they're drawing guns on Charlie, telling him to get on his stuff. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, yeah. Um, now here we go with the fucking drama. You know what, what, what? This is fucking standard operations. This is fucking silly. That like, get on your stomach, fucking Charlie. He tries to get on his knees. He falls to his face because his back and knees are fucked up. Okay. He I, I, seriously. He he goes down and bang. He collapses with the concrete. You know and. 
And all he's saying is, the point, you know what he's saying? And, I, and I'm not making, like, I'm, I'm not exaggerating this. This is all, he goes, I was set up. He's like, I've been set up. Yeah. I need to go for a drive. I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to get the hell out of the neighborhood. I get in my truck. I pull out. He's like this up against the car. He's like, pay. He's like, I guess I'll be seeing you in a couple months. I'm sorry. He's like, I was set up, though. He's like, Mommy made me a nice dinner. We had sex. He, and it was like the second time he said this. He's like, we even had sex. He's like, I was set up. And I'm like, oh, driving away. And, and that's it, man.